Hey everyone, this is Garrett from GS Lighting Solutions. In part three of this series, I will be showing you how to create cues and programs in your Air DMX system. Let's begin. Now I'm going to show you how to program a basic cue into the Air DMX. So first we're going to just deselect our pictures that we want. We're going to hit edit right up at the top. You have edit, you have delete, you have undo, redo, and save. Those all have different functions based on how you are programming um, your show. So we're going to hit here, we're going to hit edit, we're going to hit one. So here is your cue times. You can set up you know fade in hold time fade out or whatever you need based on how your program works so for this I'll do a I'll do a two and it turns milliseconds to five so it's a 2.5 second fade so now we just gonna go to our edit channel so you'll notice that everything is dark. You can go in here, and so let's just select those all. Put the dimmer up. And point them around where I need it, right there. And I'm going to scroll over. And we also, so I'm gonna set that there, right there. Now I'm done with those. I'm just gonna select my generic LED bar, turn that up to full, and turn it on. Do it like this. And now I just hit back and I hit OK. So when we're done editing a scene, we can just unhit the edit, and then we can push the fade in, and the light will fade right into where we need. Now we're going to program a second cue, so I'll touch all, all off. Doing the full. And you can also have all your lights selected and so if you have any lights that are in that color wheel, you can um, kind of just match it at all at the same time. You don't have to individually do each kind of set of lights. So I can kind of just say, okay, that works for me. All right, now I have a, my third cue set. And I'm just going to change that to a one second fade. And then I'll just do like a an eight second hold followed by a three second fade out. So basically what that allows you to do is you can hit that cue, it will fade in for one second, it will hold that cue as you set it for eight seconds, and then it will fade out in three seconds. And next I'm going to show you how to create a program. A program is basically just a chase scenes that you can stack together to make a, a program um, gives you kind of some effects. Um, Air DMX does not have any effects engines built in. However, you can create your look with moving lights, flashing, changing gobos, changing colors fairly easily just by creating a stack. So what you want to do is first, you want to set up your first look that you want. So I move my lights, change the dimmer, Let's just throw some easy stuff on there. And then what you'll do is you'll just hit program. And it says there's no value stored in this program. Do you want to save the actual values now? You hit yes. So now it is programmed into that second cube. So now I can go into here and hit edit. And I see step one. 
It gives you a bunch of different things. You can assign them in, fade time, hold times, all the different things that you would expect in kind of a chase builder or a Q stack builder. So let's go in to here and you can go and you can edit the step. So I just created a general look just to create, just to get it stored into a, a program so that I can show you how to edit. So then I go in, I edit it. And this doesn't give you the option to do any kind of um, advanced mi color mixing and stuff, so it's kind of limited in that fact. But you can still create your looks that you need. You kind of just create it and move it around until you get the look that you need. Just move it right there. And then I'll just change that to kind of like a little more. Lighter pink. There we go. That's pretty good. And then I'll come down here and I'll do the same. Alright, so that is step one. So you just hit back. And then what you do, all you have to do is say either copy step or insert step or duplicate. I just like to hit duplicate step so that all I have to do is go into the next step, hit edit. And then I'll just change some of my. Uh... Keep duplicating it and keep making it how you want it. I'll just add a few more. Alright, now that I have four cues set up. Um, there's a few different options you have. So over here on the right hand side, you can assign name, you can assign the fade time, or you can assign the hold time. So you can always say you know, start and I want it a three two second fade, I want it to hold for six seconds. Alright. Now that I have each of those set, you can see it has a list of the stack, the fade times, hold times, all up. You can do hundreds of cues and hundreds of unique stacks um, per program. So now that you're done, you have a few different options. So you could take that option, you could say I want to move it up one, I didn't like it there, or you know, move it around. You can even delete the step, you can copy that step, you can insert it. So you can kind of create a bunch of generic looks and you can just create extras and make unique patterns and whatnot um, to fit your need and what you're trying to do with the program. And also right here, it has a loop. So you can tell it how many times you want to loop, you six times, ten times, um, you can say zero times, or down if you go down one more, that gets a continuous loop. That'll give you the option to go in and loop that over and over and over again until you tell it to stop. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button below. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel to keep up to date on what's happening at GS Lighting Solutions. Bye!